Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at the latest RetroArch update version 1.8.6 released on May 6th and we have all sorts of different changes, improvements, fixes and new cores to various platforms and hopefully we have some new cores for the PS Vita version. And we're going to take a look at the notes here and go through some of the best highlights. Here we are on the RetroArch 1.8.6 release page and I'll have this link in the description down below for you. And if you want to show your support, make sure to click on this link here and you can donate to the cause. They start off explaining that they will release a cores progress report going over all the different core changes. And they're also explaining that it's an exhaustive list and the older consoles will receive a lot new cores and improvements. So hopefully we will see something new for the PS Vita version. And they're also explaining that there are many things that this release post will not touch upon. Interesting. Such as all the extra cores that have been added to the various console platforms. And let me zoom in here a little bit more. A new port, a retro arch, has been made for the PlayStation 3. Cool. iOS, they have a fixed audio getting cut off on interruption. OpenGL Core Slang Shader Improvements. Only write config files to disk when parameters change. Playlist Compression. The obvious benefit is that playlist file size re is reduced by 90% with corresponding reduction in diskware on solid state drives. See, they also fix some small playlist related bugs issues. We have CRAM compression. This is a minor follow up to PR. Interesting. Save state compression. Manual content scanner playlist cleaner. Prevent redundant playlist entries when handling M3U content. Before, when the manual content scanner was used to scan content that includes M3U files, redundant playlist entries were created. For example, content like this. Right. I do see that a lot. Improved handling of broken playlists. Before, Ozone can display either one thumbnail. We got Ozone here. And this looks like the PS Vita version content scanner was unable to identify games from chd images on android builds and here it is the uh let's see here just a small sampling of what 1.8.6 has to offer wow apologize for my rough voice i have tried to record this many times and i keep screwing up look at all the different changes here for the 3ds very good and I don't see any update to PS Vita or PSP or anything like that. So let's download the latest VPK. Let's grab it here. It takes us to the download tab. We will scroll down to the PS Vita version. Perfect. This is 220 megabytes, wow. Okay, so I connected my Vita through USB mode. And I'm going to drag this into my VPK folder. Replace the file in the destination. Yes. All right, we are good to go. Now we're going to head on back to our Vita. Here we are back on Vita shell. And I'm going to go into my UXO folder and VPK. Find Retro Arch. There it is. And let's install this package. There we go. Yeah, I just wait for it to load. It does take some time. So on the last version, the only thing that bothered me was loading into Retro Arch. I felt like it took way too long. And I just had a black screen for like 
20 30 seconds until it loaded up so that was one problem I had on the last version and I haven't really played on RetroArch I just been so busy with other things and I just haven't really had the time to go into RetroArch and go through all the different changes from the last version and test out some of the new cores and this update is taking a little bit of time all right it's finished updating let's go and open up RetroArch so here we are at the main menu and looks like it kept everything the same and all of my games as well let's take a look if we have yes I do still have some of my thumbnails not all of them unfortunately oh yes they do just take some time to load I guess very good and the best way to take a look at all the different cores is going into the main menu option and going into load core and here we can see all the available cores we can use on the PS Vita we got 2048 arcade emulators or all sorts of different uh, versions here MAME 2000, 2003, 2003 plus and all sorts of different Atari cores 2600, 5200, 7800 and honestly I haven't checked on the last version to see if there was a huge change on cores uh, just because I haven't really used RetroArch since the last update I've been so busy with all sorts of different projects and haven't had the time to dive into RetroArch we got DOS Electronica I like how it highlights every time the little box there pretty cool Mattel, Microsoft, Mr. Boom, Bomberman NEC Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, NES, Pokemon Mini, SNES. I think there are a couple new SNES cores. And keep in mind that these most of these cores have been updated. Just because you see the same ones doesn't mean it's going to work the same as the old. There should be somewhat of an improvement on most of these cores. And obviously we're not going to go into each one because it's just going to take way too long. Uh, Sony PlayStation, hopefully this one was updated. For you guys who are stuck on 3.73 and don't have another option to play PS1 games, this is your best bet. RetroArch, Wolfenstein, and that is it for the course there. And I'm going to go and dig a little bit deeper into this uh, version and see what I can find for myself and have some fun and hopefully update you guys on another video. And that will be it for this one. And I just wanted to keep you guys updated with these amazing new releases for us on the PS Vita. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully there's an update for the PSP version and I'll cover that in another video. And that is it for this one guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Any questions comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.